So we have a few stories today to dive into, one of them dealing with the fact that, well, Nintendo can announce Nintendo Switch 2 at any point, any day now, any hour. Look, I am firmly on Team 2025 at this point, but Furukawa may not be. So we're going to dive into what he had to say about the reveal of the actual Switch 2, which is still scheduled to happen this fiscal year. We also have a story coming from Amazon dealing with Nintendo and Amazon patching things up. And yeah, Nintendo strengthening their partnerships with third parties, and that's going to have a huge impact as well on the future of Switch. So all of these things have to do, obviously, with today, but also tomorrow, and I find that to be rather fascinating. And, of course, when I say tomorrow, I don't mean literal. Come on, guys. All right. Uh, before we dive in, I want to let you know we are on a road to 140,000 subscribers. So if you want to stay as up to date on Nintendo and Switch 2 and all that good stuff, all you got to do is subscribe to the channel. And let's go ahead and dive in first with the Amazon story. So if you haven't paid attention over the last year or so, Nintendo has not been selling their games directly on Amazon. In fact, they even pulled some of their consoles. There's been an ongoing dispute between Amazon and Nintendo. And honestly, we don't actually know the particulars of this dispute and what's causing the dispute. But what we do know is as of today, Nintendo has started to sell Echoes of Wisdom directly through Amazon. This is a massive change over what's been going on the last year. And obviously this means that Nintendo and Amazon have clearly come to some sort of agreement or patched up the relationship in some way, just in time for the holiday season, which is huge because a lot of consumers like shopping on Amazon. So uh, I'm just really happy to see that get patched up. And obviously getting this fixed before we get to, well, whenever you can pre-order switch 2 is a big deal as well because amazon is the world's number one online retailer and so having confidence to purchase your nintendo stuff through there get it sent directly by nintendo i think is a big win for consumers uh so i'm just really happy to see that happen uh thank you to nintendo and amazon for figuring out whatever the heck it was whatever contract dispute was going on behind the scenes to uh, get your games back up on amazon directly now Beyond all of that, Nintendo has uh, had the financial briefing, and they said something during the document that I didn't pay a lot of attention to, but I think is really important. So Nintendo put up this graphic dealing with third-party partners and talking about how they're strengthening their partnerships. And if you look through, there's a lot of big names, and almost all of these companies have put at least one product over on Nintendo Switch. But the reason to bring this up now, I firmly believe, is about the future of Nintendo. And when you see a company on there like From Software, you can't help but think Elden Ring is coming to Switch 2, maybe even Dark Souls 2 and 3. Uh, obviously, we had Dark Souls Remastered on Switch, and that could just be what this is about. So maybe I'm reading a bit too much into this. But I don't think I am, considering how open Furukawa was to talk about Switch 2 during the financial briefing. So I do firmly believe that when you're showing this, you're trying to give investors confidence that these guys are on board with our next platform a lot of things under the microsoft umbrella for those wondering hey where is uh you know bethesda where is activision like yeah it's all under that microsoft banner so i'm really excited about this i think it just paints a very bright future for nintendo uh and hopefully this just means we pretty much get everything on switch 2 it would be quite, quite interesting if nintendo somehow gives us the logo for switch 2 at some point this year because if they do that at the game awards Almost all those third-party trailers for games next year, I have a feeling, would probably have a Nintendo Switch 2 logo in it. So that would be pretty cool. But you know what's also pretty cool? What Furukawa had to say about revealing the Nintendo Switch 2. Look, we've mentioned this already once, but I wanted to make a dedicated video on this because this is one of the most important things I think Furukawa had to say about Nintendo Switch 2. And it's because one of the big things people are worried about with Switch 2 is if they revealed it in 2024, the number one argument against it is, hey, it would hurt holiday sales. Hey, it would hurt Switch sales. So of course they're not going to reveal it. And you know what? I understand that viewpoint. I can even agree with that viewpoint in some respects. But I also think that, well, we're in the eighth year of Switch. Who's ever looking to buy a Switch at this point aren't the kind of people that are worried about buying a Switch 2 day one. So I never really felt like it would have that much of a negative impact. But what I feel and what Nintendo feels doesn't have to align. Well, when we head on over to my Nintendo news here, we'll see that Furukawa 
tends to agree with me. So we get to the second paragraph there, and it says, President Furukawa said about the details of the Nintendo Switch successor, there is no change in the plan to announce it during the fiscal year ending March 2025. I can't say anything more than that. Regarding the potential hesitation to purchase the current model due to the announcement of a successor, he added, I can't say it doesn't exist at all, but the Switch is already in its eighth year since launch. I don't think the presence or absence of a successor will have much impact on customers who are purchasing it at this time. So essentially, Furukawa just agreed with me. Hey, who's ever looking to buy a Switch in the eighth year isn't going to give a crap if the Switch 2 is coming because they're not even considering buying a Switch 2 at launch. But buying an expensive machine with a limited library when you can buy a cheaper machine with a much larger library. And yes, backwards compatibility is obviously going to ease people's minds in the transition. But let's just be honest. People trying to buy something in the eighth year of a product aren't the people trying to buy Switch 2 day one. Uh, a lot of us that talk about Switch 2, we've been longtime Switch owners. A lot of you guys watching this channel, longtime Switch owners. There are some that are brand new that might be like oh what do you mean switch 2 is coming well they haven't hidden this fact literally from may onwards they told us that this system is coming so it shouldn't really be a surprise i do think that this uh does mean that nintendo can obviously reveal it at any time now i'm still on team 2025 i'm, I'm on march 31st 2025 even though my gut is saying january but what i will note here is this does actually mean nintendo could reveal it tomorrow they could reveal it next week they could reveal it the week before black friday heck they could reveal it on black friday nintendo wouldn't even care in fact they could reveal it over the thanksgiving holiday break here in the united states which would actually be a pretty nice time at least in the u.s to reveal it because a lot of people aren't working a lot of people have time to check their phones a lot of people have time to watch an announcement watch a reveal of switch 2 so they could do that because they again they don't think it's going to hurt holiday sales they also could go on and announce it in december i know we all know the biggest gaming event left in the year is the game awards and i'm like pretty much 99% of you. I don't think Nintendo would give a console reveal to Jeff Keighley at the Game Awards. They don't have a tight relationship with him, at least not as tight as they did when Reggie fils was president of Nintendo of America. But I will note that they, Nintendo does present things there still every year, even under Doug Bowser. Doug Bowser is there in person. Nintendo's had their major developers like Eiji Anuma and Miyamoto there to accept awards in the past. They were able to do a dedication to Iwata when he passed away. So Nintendo does have ties to the Game Awards. And actually, if you didn't know, Doug Doug Bowser's on the board. Like, he's actually part one of the decision makers at the Game Awards. Like, Nintendo actually has a say at the Game Awards. So, I do think that there is at least an outside chance, if you want to think it's possible, that it could happen. And I think the only reason it would is if, at that point, Nintendo hadn't dropped a logo, hadn't dropped a name yet, and Nintendo wanted to kick off the Game Awards with a tiny tease for the system, so then all the third-party games the rest of the show could end up having the Nintendo Switch 2 logo in it. Uh, I think that that obviously would be fantastic. Uh, some developers, such as the ones behind Yuka Replay, have no interest in waiting on Nintendo Nintendo, so they're already throwing Nintendo logos in that are not the Switch logo. But, you know, uh, I do think that, yeah, Nintendo could reveal it then. They could reveal it at any point the rest of the year or at any point in the first three months next year. Nintendo is going to do whatever they want to do. And clearly announcing backwards compatibility and the NSO stuff, uh, that was obviously part of their marketing plan and part of, uh, you know, making... Uh, Investors happy uh, that Nintendo is taking the Switch 2 quite seriously and taking the transition extremely seriously. The uh, the idea of backwards compatibility and the NSO stuff went over very well. Nintendo stock rose 5.8% off the back of that news. So obviously investors are very pleased with it. It also means that, hey, if Nintendo's talking about features. They're still talking about a reveal. I mean, I don't think this is a holiday uh, 2025 platform at this point. Um, I, I do believe that it's going to be first half of 2025. I think investors believe that as well. Hence the confidence in, in, in investing in Nintendo right now, trying to get in before the big boom of Switch 2. But I do think that all of this just bodes really well. I think it is interesting that uh, Furukawa was basically saying that, hey, whether we reveal the system or not, Switch sales won't really be impacted. Uh, and I, I, I agree with him. I've been saying this for months. You guys have seen me 
you know, just usher this argument out every time people bring up the holiday sales. Because I just don't see how anyone looking to buy a Switch today is going to give a crap about a Switch 2 tomorrow because they waited eight years to buy the damn thing. So why wouldn't the reasons they waited eight years to buy this be the same reason you would wait, you know, five, six, seven, eight years to buy the next one? So you're clearly not in any rush to get like the latest thing from Nintendo. So anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jets from Nintendo Prime. Uh, this is a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoyed this job. I uh, hope I get to continue to do this job for many years in the future because there's a lot of stuff I can't wait. Like once Switch 2 is revealed, man, it's all about the games. It's all about the games. Also, speaking of the games, big shout out. Mario and Luigi Brothership launched today. Hopefully a lot of you guys are playing it and enjoying that game. I'm very curious if you are playing it, what you think about it. Uh, I know it got like an 80 or an 81 overall on Metacritic and Open Critic, uh, but the few negative reviews out there, uh, I think the, those reviews are kind of legit in what they said, but I also just think maybe the game's not made for them. I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I am Nathaniel Rumpelgans from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.